creep this red drake, and he's going to be able to do that. He's got two raiders there, but it's going to take him a little while. And meanwhile, Happy is going to move out and creep his orange knoll camp, which he didn't before, and get level two on his lich, I think. And that will give him Frost Nova. Well, Happy running in his death knight too, or okay, checking with the dust to see if the blade master is here, but he's not. He's creeping the other camp. And all right. Grubby now with level 3 Blade Master and a, oh, a Scourge Bone Chimes. That's huge. That's a really good drop. And let's see if, see what use he can make of that. Although, with all the Frost Armor, it's somewhat reduced in usefulness. Anyway, Happy now pushing out with his Death Knight and some forces. And Grubby trying to creep this big, this red camp, and the Death Knight is going to scout that. And so Grubby sh should probably pull back because he's going to get, he's going to get that Ogre Lord stolen. Yeah, I, well, no, he, Grubby did get the kill on the Ogre Lord. But he's going to get... Let's see if it, He speed scrolls away, so... But he's not running far enough. What is Grubby doing? He can't fight this army at this mo at this point in time. He's... With that frost armor and all, so... Oh, and actually, he, he did manage to surround the Death Knight. It has to pop an invuln pot, but now he's good, Grubby's going to lose his TC. Unless... Okay, he's got an invuln pot on that, too. So, Grubby with some really nice uh, auras. Br brilliance aura and... Okay, now he loses his Torn Chieftain. He didn't run it while, his, while it was invulnerable, so I don't know what that was about. Anyway, now he's going to lose a raid or two, and probably going to get that code up he's picked. Unless he's got another speed scroll to save it. Okay, the Blade Master now coming in, trying to harass the Death Knight. But, the fount Okay, Death Knight ensnared just outside the Fountain of Healing, which Frost Nova's on that Death Knight. And Happy, Happy backs off, it, which is a wise choice. Never fight an Orc at Fountain of Healing. Because their units have more health, and the Fountain of Healing heals based on the, the number of hit points the unit has. I think it's 2% of the hit points per second, or something like that. So, the max hit points. So anyway, Happy has Burrow now. Um, is he attacking to tier 3? Yes, he's already at tier 3. And he's going to have Destroyers soon. And I don't know what Grubby will have to answer that with. He's got one or two Raiders, I guess. Uh, which will help, but he, he really needs to have some more units up. Grubby seems to be... What is Grubby at? Grubby's at uh, 50 food now. And Happy is pushing into low upkeep in 56 food. So, I think Grubby is sort of letting this game slip out of his grasp. I wonder if he's going to try and expand or something. He's now behind in units, and the Orc is going to have to... Sorry, the Undead is going to have Destroyers up. Uh, as just as soon as this researches. Okay, Happy actually getting a Crypt Lord now. And going to buy that Orb of Corruption, I think. Come on, Happy. There we go. Okay, he was a little low on gold. Um... And destroyer form is up, although Happy doesn't have any destroyers yet. He doesn't have enough money to bank them anyway. Um, and now Grubby taking an awful lot of damage creeping this camp, but let's see what... Oh, he got a Cloak of Flames, so <laughs> that's kind of nice. Now his Blade Master is really frightening, although it's... Still, he his Blade Master is probably not as stacked as he would like it to be. It's He got a Circlet of Nobility, but he didn't get any Claws of Attack. He didn't get Gloves of Haste, so his damage is damage bonus is just not that high, so his crits are not going to be that frightening. Although now he's level 4, so he gets bigger crits. And oh my god, Grubby's just totally trapped in here. Really bad position for Grubby. He doesn't he doesn't even have a TP. This is going to be really bad. He's going to lose that Kodo if Happy decides to fight, at least. Okay, yeah. Uh, Grubby just stomping. Happy pulling his forces out of the way in time. Speed scroll goes off. Grubby manages to get mostly out, but he's going to lose this Torrent Chieftain here. Yeah. Just got a little unlucky that Torrent Chieftain got just the right number of hits to kill it. And now Happy with the hero up and level 4 Death Knight is going to just push right into Grubby's base and probably try to kill the Burrows. Or is he going to go for the altar? Looks like looks like he's going for the Burrows. And Grubby going to have to set his peons to repair them, but this is a pretty big force of Crypt Fiends and those peons are not going to last very long. And so the Burrows are going to go down and Grubby's going to be in big trouble. I mean, he should his forces are way on the other side of the map. He did resurrect his his Torn Chieftain at the tavern, but it's not going to have any mana. And so, nice impale there, getting everything. Grubby now trying to stomp. He can't get in because of the good positioning of Happy's forces. He couldn't get in to get a good stomp off, and I don't think he had enough mana anyway, actually. But yeah, Grubby way behind in forces, I think. Yeah, he's only 46 food. Happy is looks like he's going to take this game, actually. And... Okay, Grubby speed scrolls again, but he doesn't have anything to 
get position with. I don't know what he did that. Now the Torn Chieftain manages... No, he gets blocked by his own forces. So, finally getting that Torn Chieftain into the middle of Happy's forces and stomping. Happy really backed into a corner at the moment, but Grubby just doesn't have that much to to deal with this. And Happy has that lit with the Orb of Corruption, focusing everything down, and all the... and two destroyers, and really doing a lot of damage to Grubby's units, and Grubby just doesn't have any way to answer this. And he's t his Torn Chieftain goes down again, and that's probably going to be TG. He's going to lose his Blade Master now, too, because he doesn't seem to have any items to get him out of there with. He did heal it with something, I guess, a potion, but... Okay, there we go, TG, and he knows he's going to lose his Blade Master, and that will be it. So, I guess... Grubby, I think, made a, made a mistake. He wasn't... He didn't keep his map awareness up. He wasn't... He wasn't sure what Happy was doing the whole game, and... So he ended up falling behind in population, and not really having anything to deal with Happy's army. Even though even though his hero had uh, Scourge Bone Chimes for Vampiric Aura and a uh, Pipe of Insight for Brilliance Aura, which in a normal game probably would have given him a decisive advantage, he just didn't he didn't make proper use of of those heroes because he didn't have enough army to support them. And then to I guess to add to that, Happy played really intelligently and bought a huge amount of dust to keep the Blade Master away, and that allowed him to creep up his heroes in peace. Because he knew that the Blade, the Blade Master wasn't going to be able to steal his stuff. He knew where the Blade Master was all the time. And so he was able to to creep without without being harassed, and I think that probably gave him the game there. Even even on a orc map like Secret Valley, so really good job by Happy to beat Grubby on a map that favors Grubby. And that's never an easy thing to do, and Happy did it very well. So that's game one of this three-game set. Game two and three, if necessary, will be coming up. Um, yeah, Grubby, Grubby needs to win both of those games now, or he will be out of this tournament, out of the Extreme Masters tournament. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Uh, if you have any comments, just, leave, just post comments, or in, either in my channel or on the videos, or send me a PM. Thanks.